Hello, Kelsey Taylor here. Welcome to another movie review. This time, another double feature. I haven't done one of those in a very long time, but um, these are the movies that I kind of like to discuss more, mainly its sequel. I had to watch both these movies back because I have not seen them in years, especially the second one. I have not seen part two since, I think, since I was in fourth grade. It's been many years. Um, and I got this DVD for Christmas. Um, <laughs> my mom you know, sometimes would forget what movies I have on DVD. Like, I have a pretty good memory of what I own. Um, I already have the first one on DVD, but, um, I decided, like, maybe at some point I can sell that one off and just keep this set. And, um, of course I'm going to be talking about All Dogs Go to Heaven 1 and 2. Now, um, I believe I mentioned in one of the videos where I talked about my favorite anime movies, like, it's been a few years ago since I've done that video. Um, I mentioned All Dogs Go to Heaven being one of my favorites. Well, not one of my top favorite movies exactly. Um, like, not one of my favorite um, films directed by Don Bluth. Of course, you know Don Bluth. He's a great animated director, and he hasn't done that much stuff in the past few years. You know, he directed The Land Before Time, American Tale, The Secret of Nymph, Rock a Doodle, which was a guilty pleasure of mine. But um, I like to discuss um, about these movies, just like giving you my thoughts on those films, and um, what I think of them as an adult. Now, these are the movies I actually have not watched that much as a kid. Um, I even had the first one on VHS, I remember, but again, didn't watch it a whole lot. Maybe it's because, you know, MGM has the scariest logo in history that scarred me for life. Yeah, it's pretty stupid, but I'm not going to get in that. Um, basically, um, the plot of these films involves um, a dog named Charlie. I'm the first one. He was voiced by um, Burt Reynolds, and the second one, he was voiced by Charlie Sheen, believe it or not. And um, mainly the first film, like, um, he... He gets killed, and then he gets sent to heaven, and then he um, returns from heaven to get revenge on um, his um, in, in the um, Carface, I believe that's called, that's his name, Scarface, Carface, boy, Carface, that's his name. I don't remember that well. Um, and the second one, um, his assistant um, Itchy, both of them had to return um, to Earth from heaven to um, to retrieve um, Gabriel's um, stolen horn. I'm reading the back of the box here. Um, because Scarface um, stole it, and um, also both these films have fall with them helping, like, in the first one they helped a little girl who's an orphan, as well in the second one they help a um, young boy who's, um, like, um, running away from home and wants to be a magician. Yeah, it's just, just simple plots. Nothing very epic. Like, um, like, these movies, like, they're okay, they're good for kids. Like, they're technically good movies, but nothing great, nothing Oscar-worthy. Like, not as good as um, films like Land Before Time and The Secret Name, which, you know, can get dark at times, and maybe that's why I like those ones so much, especially in American Tale. I don't know. Um, like, <laughs> like, if you've never heard of these films and you see the title All Dogs Go to Heaven, you may be wondering, well, what the heck is it even about? All Dogs Go to Heaven. Even the trail from the first film, if you look at it, it's like, they don't really show you that much. It makes you kind of confused for a little bit. So, yeah, um, I heard, like, the first film didn't get as much as marketing. Like, it, like I said, if you look at the original trail, it doesn't really tell you that much. And, um, yeah, like, like, these film, mainly the first film is kind of, like, a little darker, like, you see the dogs drinking, and, um, there's some, like, not that many swear words, but you hear, like, moron in one scene, I believe, or a few scenes. Well, I was going to have it, too, it's kind of, like, more kiddish, so they kind of toned it down on the darkness. And, um, yeah, the, like, the first one didn't do so well at the box office, like, it was a box office bomb, I suppose, but it did very well on home video, so it spawned a sequel as well as a, um, Christmas special, and even a TV series, so I guess, you know, something good has come out of this film. Um, like, I don't hear people, like, I don't hear that many kids nowadays talk about this film, you know, they probably don't know anything about it, but the people who grew up with it have, like, a, you know, a loving, um, connection to it, like, a nostalgic feel for it. Um, with me, I just find just, just, these are just cute movies, like, I have nothing against them whatsoever. Um, the animation, especially in the first film that, um, you know, Don Bluth directed, is very nice. Um, the second one's like, okay as well. Um, Don Bluth had no involvement whatsoever with the sequel, nor the TV series, nor the Christmas specials. Like, like whatever the sequels to um, other things, like, you know, he directed American Tale, Land Before Time, and even their sequels or spin-offs, he had no involvement with them whatsoever. I don't know what they would be like if he was involved with those projects. I don't know, maybe they could be better, or I don't know, maybe they just want to make them more kid-friendly. I'm really not sure. And, um... Yeah, like, I would recommend these films. Um, the first one in particular can get a little darker for kids, um, but, um, I, I still, um, 
recommend these films. You know, they're cute, innocent um, movies. You know, if your kids love talking animals, which I'm a sucker for that sometimes, but um, like, like, not one of my top favorites. I don't know. Maybe it wasn't as epic or as dark, just kind of like, like the first film was kind of dark at points, but nothing I was that really, really invested in. Like, The Land Before Time and American Tale, I was more invested in those movies. But, uh, yeah, um, just want to talk a little bit about them. All Dogs Go to Heaven, um, 1 and 2. Um, I got the two-pack. You can find this at Walmart. And, um, yeah, that, I, I don't have that much to say on these movies. So, yep. All Dogs Go to Heaven. Yep, literally hope that's real. A anyway, um, thank you so much for watching this uh, movie review of um, All Dogs Go to Heaven 1 and 2. Um, let me know what you think of these movies if you have seen them. And um, sometime tomorrow or late Sunday night, it just depends. Um, tomorrow's my birthday, by the way, so I'm playing something very special for tomorrow, if I could. It's going to be a long day, but I'm going to be extremely busy, but hope you know why. And a big milestone in my life. So, um, I'll catch you guys then. Adios!